What's up, it's Johnny Davis, and you're watching NBA 2K TV. Welcome to 2K TV. Who's ready for the NBA season to tip off? Well, I know I am. I got my Lakers gear ready, and I think you'd look good in some purple and yellow, Alexis. How did I know that you were gonna say something about the Lakers? Well, whatever gear you're putting on, we're excited to see all the teams and players this season. And to celebrate, we're starting off with some 2K TV Interactive, brought to you by Kia. When the season starts, that's when the race for that coveted MVP title begins. So, here's the first question. Who has won the most MVP awards in NBA history? Is it Bill Russell? Bob Pettit, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or Wilt Chamberlain? Da da da. If you answered the legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, then enjoy that VC. But do you know how many he actually won? Bonus VC if you do. Have you checked out the theater in NBA 2K23? If not, what are you waiting for? This brand new environment is exclusively featured in the city. And each week, there's new rules and game modes to play. It could be a game with 2K15 rules, a game where assisted baskets are worth an extra point, or maybe even a quick game to 11. The different rules in the theater make for a lot of fresh and fun competition. So get out there and check it out now. The theater is a super fun way to level up. Now, if XP is your main goal, we can't forget about events. For more on that, listen up. To view the event schedule, look at the right side of the My Career Pause menu. What's up, player? Team 2K TV hopped on green light in the city to celebrate the first new event of the year. And we racked up some pretty nice plays. You may remember him from his days as an NBA coach, and you've certainly seen him in his role as a broadcast analyst. And if you're like me, you may simply know him as the czar. Mike Fratello is a legend in the basketball world. So it's only fitting that he's a part of the NBA 2K family. You'll hear his color commentary throughout NBA 2K23, including Jordan mode. We asked him about his experience recording for the game and his years on the sidelines of the Jordan era. So Magic Johnson used the form to play an all-star game and the monies went to the Magic Johnson Foundation. So we figured, wow, this will be great. Marv and I together for the first time. So when we came on the air, there was a single shot of Marv welcoming everyone to uh, NBA basketball. And they said, I'd like to introduce my new partner, the czar, Mike Fratello. We had no idea why he did it. We don't know. So many years later down the road, it has stuck and so many people know me as the czar. They don't even know what my real name is. They just know it is the czar. This is a duel between two of the most explosive scorers of the generation. Oh, oh, with a big time throw down. Man. Well, now I've done the majority of my work with Kevin Harlan or Clark Kellogg. Kevin and I had done games together for TNT. Uh, so it felt so easy doing 2K because of the number of times that we've been together on television and broadcast games together. Uh, Clark, I've watched for years, was so good uh, following college basketball. And if I'm the coach, I'm going to keep attacking there until they get a stop. Puts it down! Oh, my goodness! Ooh, Clear the decks below! Oh. When I look back and think about highlights, the first one would be when I was finally named a head coach at age 36. I had three teams, the Atlanta Hawks, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Memphis Grizzlies. Coaching the All-Star game the one year, uh, Michael Jordan. He was pretty good, by the way, in that game. And to think, this is just Jordan's second year in the league. Oh, down hard! Throwing down the hammer! Michael makes a 
six, the six three-pointers. He looks over at the table. There was Marv, there was myself, and then there was Magic. Michael clearly was looking at me when he looked over at the table and gave the shrug. Now, Marv has tried to, for years now, say that it was him. Michael, after the game, said to me, who was the guy next to you on your show? He didn't even know Marv at that time. Magic said that he was with Michael the night before, having something to eat and play little cards, and that Michael really was looking at Magic. So I guess each of us wanted to be identified with that magical moment when Michael gave the shrug and looked over at the table. The three-point shot has had an incredible impact. We're seeing teams who were down 20, 21 points in the past. The game was over, not now. Anytime they change rules, it tends to affect the game. Way back, many people don't realize that they had actually turned the NBA game into a three-on-three -three contest. If the offense placed two people above the three-point line, the defense had to bring two people above the foul line and they could just play with the other three guys, three against three. And we're so happy that they got away from that because basketball is a game of five on five and what it's created now is the movement that makes basketball so beautiful. I've always thought that the game involves teaching. It starts in elementary school, whether it starts with their recreational teams, AAU, if it's on to college, and then in the NBA. Players are always looking to get better. They want to get better. They want someone to show them how to do it the right way. As I approach it with 2K basketball, we try to give them a better insight to why things are happening the way they're happening. I go back with Michael Jordan to when uh, he was a junior in high school. Michael did not make his basketball team in high school during his sophomore year. He was cut, and I happened to be running a basketball camp called Five Star Basketball Camp, and Michael was there as one of the players. Long arms, long legs, thin frame, but you saw him run like a gazelle, and next thing you know, he's being recruited by many schools in the country, but he wound up going on to North Carolina, helping his head coach, Dean Smith, win the NCAA championship made the huge shot at the end of the game. Before you know it, people were talking about Michael as being one of the elite players in the NBA. The athleticism, the ability to handle the ball, not afraid to take the big shot at the big moment in the game. You saw and you followed this young man coming in who had faced disappointment as a sophomore in high school, bounce back and become perhaps the greatest player to ever play the game. For me to have followed his career from high school through college into the NBA, watch him win six all together, that's special to me. Oh, oh, yes, a 40. big time throw down. Kia, movement that inspires. When the NBA season starts, all eyes are on the rookies and how they'll perform on the court. So our next interactive question will be looking at one of the best performing rookies in recent history. Who was the last rookie of the year to play all 82 regular season games? Was it Scotty Barnes, Luka Doncic, Ben Simmons, or Carl Anthony Towns? Here's a little tip. He is a big man. Congratulations on that extra VC. Hey everyone, this is Michael Biamani, public address announcer for your Miami Heat. For this week's edition of Top Plays, 
we're featuring your Mobile One drives. Let's see how you can steer clear and score. We're at the deck party with No Egg One. Reaches in for the perimeter steal and goes behind the back for the extra appeal. Flashy scoop to the hoop. Headed into the wreck with Rod Three Flame, who is driving smooth with cruise control, shaking off every single member of the defense in under eight seconds. That man is untouchable. Next up is Doc Two Petty, showing off Jamal Murray's handles. Steps back once, then again with the crossover, and a wild spin cross to the bucket. How do you defend that? And one more today. Mr. McKenzie to you leaps into a 360 and Dino Raja can only watch from the floor in disbelief. Oh yeah, Ja is always a fan favorite. Which play drives you? Vote now and send your top plays on social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. I'll be back next week to feature a showdown for the top play of season one. Until then, keep up the heat. See ya. Next week, we'll be bringing you an all new in-game season. Yes, season two in NBA 2K23 is going to be bringing new rewards and events. And we'll be covering all of those next week alongside chatting with Pelican superstar, Zion Williamson. What's the most rewarding thing for you on the court? Is it like a big time dunk, a clutch basket? The breakaway dunk because the fans, that's what they kind of know me for a little bit. So when I do get it, they're like, oh, here it is, here it is. And if you want more 2K TV between now and then, catch up with us on social media. We're at NBA 2K underscore 2K TV. Until then, enjoy the game. Bye. And go get that 2K rating up. Hey.